Oh, how is it already morning? This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillion time. I've got to be missing something. No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Sophie. Sorry, Gwen. If there's something useful on this, maybe you'll thank me later. Hold on. She's looking right at the camera. Like she knows it's there. Does she want to get caught? Or is this another doppelganger? <sighs> no matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Sophie. Before Sophie died, Gwen got her book canceled. And I still don't know why, but that doesn't mean she killed Safi. Plus, Dead World Gwen seems genuinely torn up over her death. Yeah, the Gwen theory has some holes. Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, there was that photo of him and Safi canoodling. But what does that even mean? Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense. And I would never hurt Safi. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. Maybe if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me? Restraining Order Lucas said Safi once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. But that Lucas was scared of Safi, not out for revenge. None of this is conclusive enough. Moses, when this is all over, I'll play as many games of Mana Massive as you want. I swear. Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now. No matter how much I stare at you, he refused to make sense. Moses? Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh, fuck. Can I come in? The photo. If he sees that... I have some questions for you. Of course. I... I can answer your questions right here. Well... This is a nice change of pace since yesterday. I appreciate the cooperation. There are just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of. Go ahead. Arcadia Bay. Where you went to high school. Right? Yes. 
a beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A whole town wiped out by a freak storm. What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? Go fuck yourself. Arcadia Bay has nothing to do with Safi. Ooh, there it is. Touched a nerve? I knew I'd find one if I kept poking around. Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? I... I don't even know what you're talking about. Someone was in the office with me. I could hear them. I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. This case has been abnormal from the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. Somehow. All this death leads to you. That's not true. He saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid, stupid. What the hell do I do now? None of this makes any sense. What happened that night? Why the fuck am I in this picture? The old me would have just... Jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Maybe... Maybe I still could? That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. No. Feels good. Final. Sophie. Hmm. It's here too. But there wasn't a storm the day Sophie died. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Safi, wait. Who is Maya? What was she talking about? <laughs> Stop stalling, Max.
I don't understand. What do you want from me? Pull the trigger. I... What? No. No, that wasn't enough time. Moses, you were right. I don't know how, but you were. I have to tell him everything. Moses is waiting for me up there. Hopefully. I have to do this. I have to go back up there. Might be a good place to wait for Moses. Better cross to the other side. He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. I know Safi would have something poetic to say about this. If only. You stay the fuck away from me! What if he doesn't come? I couldn't blame him. I killed his best friend. What does that say about me? That I... Any version of me could do something like that? He's probably not coming. Diamond knows where I am and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. I deserved that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Tell me the truth. Tell me why you did it. I don't think I've actually done it yet. I think it was a future version of me. Moses, wait! I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look. These flowers. What are the odds they bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? If 
five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Safi is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one? Four minutes. I know, I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. I, I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me, poof, disappear. Yeah, to some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait, you can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone... I can tell you what it was when I come back. And then... you'll believe me? It'd be a start. Okay. Okay, deal. Alright. There's a chance Moses will believe me. First, I gotta hop over to the other timeline. Now to see what Moses is up to on the other side. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. Max? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit! I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you... You believe me? Yes. And... No. You disappeared. Max, literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay. Let's try it again. Ready when you are. Okay. What did I do when you were away? And then you said... Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Um... Yup. <laughs> That's what I did. Wow. I mean... Yeah. Near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to... You okay? So Safi's alive over there, huh? She is. And she's... Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? The bottle cap? How did you...? Safi slipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. Can you give that to her, tell her... Tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need our help. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... Rewind time. Just... Raise my hand and undo everything. Everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. 
could. Past tense? Yeah. Turns out when you try to change the past, you don't actually fix anything. Sure. But what if the best way to fix things isn't changing your past, but rather changing your present? How dare you bring logic to my pity party? The point is, I stopped using it, and now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night, with a gun. You're saying that could be a future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. Felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there, in the past. Safi mentioned Maya, and oh God, the storm. Max? Look, there's a timeline where, for some reason, I shot Safi. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here, too. Oh, shit! Okay. First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Thyed's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. Alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of here. <gasps> I fucking knew it. Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small-time fuck-ups like you get under my skin? You're not making any sense. You want to talk about sense? Nothing about you makes sense. Telescopes don't put themselves together. Evidence doesn't disappear. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to... Collect?
Him, Moses. I could have saved him. No, you couldn't have. Listen to me, Max. This place ate a man. Moses, your hair. I told you. There's always a cost. It started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you... why she died, then maybe we can prevent all this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey. Safi mentioned Maya, right? When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. I was before my time. But Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Gwen. Gotta go talk to Gwen. I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Okay, talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya. And while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. Is that... Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max. No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal cancelled. Shit. What I don't understand is why. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know, you know that? So I've been told. <laughs> well then. No use fighting the inevitable. What do you want to know? That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. 
I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. Let me get this straight. You helped Safi get the deal, and then you killed it? If it had to be done, it made sense for me to do it. You know, I brought you into this world, etc. So, what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? You really don't have an off switch, do you? How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. Maya Okada? Safi never mentioned the name. Hmm. She always did keep her cards close to her chest, didn't she? The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that... Vin Lang kid. He used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then... Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but... It's the one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. One last thing. Is that... Safi's manuscript? Oh, part of it, why? Can I read it? No. That's where I draw the line. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. Jesus. I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over. Huh? Shit. Now I'm even more convinced there's something important in that manuscript. How do I get my hands on a copy? Tossing Gwen out screwed everybody over. Gotcha. Reading Safi's manuscript after all this feels like... I don't know. Being hit by a tidal wave. Whatever happened with Maya was... explosive. Let's see what Yasmin has to say about her.
Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. Hi, Yasmin. Maxine. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. I'm gonna try not to think about that too hard. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. Did Sophie tell you her book deal was canceled? What? No. How... How uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but... I bet she was devastated. Oh, Sophia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago, a horrible tragedy. I think, I think Sophie's book was canceled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Sophia didn't even know Maya. Did Yasmin just lie to me? Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? Uh, of course. I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just... What? There's this rumor that something happened with Maya before she died. I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but... Ms. Okada appears to have caused herself a great deal of pain. So, she had a bad reputation. No wonder you didn't want her and Safi associated with each other. <laughs> exactly. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. Shady cow skull throwing Vin is involved? Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. Safia's been distant lately. Could you keep an eye on her for me? Are you sure that I'm the best person to. Yes. Because she trusts you. And I trust you. I... Yeah. Sure. I'll look out for her. Thank you, Maxine. Oh, the time. Let's do lunch again. Somewhere with more atmosphere than the other place. That was... odd. What did she mean by Vin's statement? Maybe I'd better talk to Vin myself.
He's probably in the admin building. Hey, sport. We're just gonna walk past me without saying hello? Sport? Yeah. I'm trying out middle-aged white dad slang nowadays. Is it working? <laughs> sure. What are you doing on campus? Just going on a coffee run. But your coffee's better at the turtle. This one tastes like ass. Enough about me. What are you doing here? I work here. No, no. I mean, I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? I was asking her about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. Why? It's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. This guy's always falling for you, isn't it? <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I'll leave you to your something important. <laughs> See you around, tiger. See you, Amanda. He's probably in the admin building. Even. Um, Yasmin's out right now. Sorry to disappoint. Unless you're here for me. In which case, I'll do my best to be of service. Do you talk like this to everyone who comes near Yasmin's office? <laughs> I've never met a pissed off board member I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. Speaking of Yasmin, how did you end up in her good graces? Oh, it's been so long I can't remember. She probably saw me in the importance of being earnest my freshman year. Not to brag, but I was kind of a campus sensation as Algernon. So it had nothing to do with Maya Okada? Wow. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. What do you need me for, Super Sleuth? You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, Gwen's hearing completely scrambled Kahuna's schedule. No casual chats about Maya. Noted. Looks like somebody had their last stand. I wanted to talk to you about Abraxas and who should be leading it. Waiting until I'm down to try to kick me out. Oh no! Somebody abandoned their boy. How nice of you to finally return my phone calls, Desmond. Damn the emails! Safi was our only child. Can't you spare 15 minutes to discuss her funerary arrangements? No. She didn't have a will. And though she died by... suicide, she didn't leave a note. Died by... suicide? But I thought... No. I'd prefer for her to be buried as soon as possible. I hate the thought of her lying in a funeral home. 
alone. I can't keep listening to this. Don't mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Then Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume. Hold up. Can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. Please. I can't handle the both of you. I'm trying to exploit my weak spots. Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? <laughs> you gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Speaking of which, what's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? That's her? Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he bit into a lemon anytime someone says her name. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's gonna be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for Abraxas president unopposed. But if I had the right piece of dirt, I bet I could make him step down. If I give her something juicy and then go to the other timeline, maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin? Vin gave a public statement about Maya, and I think Yasmin had something to do with it. Like Yasmin asked him to give the statement? That's the vibe I got. Do with it what you will. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. And Vin gave a statement about her death. <laughs> what a pompous little piece of shit. Whatever he did, now's your chance to squeeze it out of him. Damn. Okay, Machiavelli. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. This Vin's not going to tell me anything. Maybe the other one has looser lips. If I'm going to listen in on this conversation, I need to cross to the other side. How can they have no record of him? They sent him. Would Alderman's mother know what happened to her son? But they shouldn't be covering up details about someone's death. All right, fine. You want to know what happened? After Maya died, Yasmin told me that if I stated on the record that Maya was troubled, she'd give me the job as her assistant. Holy. Well, why would anyone want to hear about what you had to say about Maya? I don't know, Diana. Maybe because we were fucking friends? We met in one of Colmanero's fiction classes and clicked. And you said that shit about her? <laughs> shut up! You wanted a performance and now you're gonna kill her. I grew up without any money, okay? Most kids at Caledon don't get what that's like. And I'm not fucking stupid, okay? I'm not gonna make it as an actor. So yes, yes, you promised me a stable, respectable job, health insurance! And I took it. 
And I cared about Maya. And it was a horrible thing to do. And I've been it ever since. Then... That's... I don't have to bring that up in the debate. There's never gonna be a debate. I'm dropping out of the race. You're just gonna let me be the head of a Braxis? Like that? It doesn't feel very good. In the end, does it? Vin met Maya in Lucas's class. And he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield. Which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. If I can pressure the other Vin, maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here. I know, I know you're busy. Give me just a minute of your time. This better be worth it. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There is a reason. I promise. Please. Enlighten me. It might not make a lot of sense, but I'm trying to help someone. And that means learning about Maya. Maya's been dead. For years now. She can't help you or anyone else. Just go with me for a second, okay? All right. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But... That wasn't true, was it? Finn... What really happened? Ask Lucas Colmanero. It all started in his class. He has Maya's blood on his hands. You're not saying Lucas... He killed her? Not literally, but... The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Like, for example, if Safi suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? <laughs> no more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. I guess I could reveal one of the other secrets I know. The thing about Gwen selling hard drugs? That wasn't her. She was framed. Max, I get that you like Dr. Hunter, we all do, but there's video evidence. I saw the footage. Gwen smiles at the camera, like she wanted to get caught. I'm not going to ask how you got your hands on confidential material from an official school investigation. Good, because I'm not telling you. Alright, so was the cow skull you or not? <sighs> yes. So, why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I... Seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were, what, protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. And now I really do have to get back to work. But, Caulfield, whatever the real reason is for you digging up old history, be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. You're kidding. How much? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> ha ha. Compare us all you want. Only one Colmenero has a movie deal, and it's not Roberto. Samuel, I'm sorry. Can you 
Please hold. Absolutely not. Out of my office, now. But I... I just shipped my son out of the country because of your little stunt. You think we're just gonna go back to being friends? I want to talk to you about Maya Okada. Whatever you think, you know, you'll never be able to prove it. Now get out! What the fuck was that? I can't prove anything? Whatever happened to Maya, Lucas was definitely involved. All right, let's see what I can find about Maya. These folders are all from this year. I doubt I'll find anything about Maya. Pretentious, shiny, and probably hasn't typed a word in years. Kind of like Lucas. How'd they get in here? Jesus, some of these items are priceless. I've got a lot on my plate. I don't need this right now. Where the hell's Yasmin? Where's security? First Gwen's slashed tires. Now Lucas's office? What's going on in this timeline? Looks like a fun read. I didn't know Lucas did fun. That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here. Hmm. Seems like at least one student remembers Lucas fondly. World's okayest dad. Might be the first time Lucas didn't oversell himself. No. I'm not going near that man again. Not alone, anyway. I can't imagine being this trusting. Don't they know there's Snoop? Hey, Loretta. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. How are you? Any new leads? Shake down anyone else for information lately? <laughs> uh, no. Crap! Wrong Loretta, Max. You know what? Ignore me. I am. Lost in space. <laughs> End of the semester, right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Anyway... 
Catch you later, Loretta. Last time we spoke, Kim's... Would you file what I did to Maya under W or M? That's a lot of junk. But maybe what I need is somewhere in there. Maybe he reads it for the articles. Oh, why were Lucas and Maya meeting so much? This can't be a repeat of what happened at my high school. One time was far too many. Of course Lucas is the type of asshole that makes you buy his own book for class. Um, oh, that could definitely be Maya Okada. Yasmin did one of these? I didn't realize just how much Lucas's book has resonated with people. Well, this at least confirms Maya took his class. That's probably his ex-wife. What a strange place to find a key. Must be significant. Nope. That's not what I was expecting. Wait, a million miles beneath my feet? I know this. Maya wrote this. Come on, there's gotta be a copy in here. Maybe ten of them. Holy shit, it's the same. Vin was right. Lucas does have blood on his hands. This is what I've been missing this entire time. I have to talk to Safi. Safi, hey. Stay strong, Habibdi. You know where to find me. Is something wrong? Oh. You want to talk to me now? I've got nothing to say to you. Safi, I What? Did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? Shit. She knows I've been asking questions. I'm not sure who you've been talking to, but I have a good reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case, what's your good reason, Max? I'm worried about you. I think there might be someone that means you harm. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I don't have the energy for this. I think you should leave me alone for a while.
maybe a long while. So many nights like this when I was on the road. Diners, bars, hotels. I liked being alone then. At least, I think I did. Chloe's probably partying. She'd pick up for me. But it's not up to her to take care of me anymore. I can't just sit here feeling sorry for myself. I need some company. I could ask Amanda to help me drown my sorrows. Hey, sport. Working hard or hardly working? Sport? You're cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. The old sport is more my style anyway. It's finals week, isn't it? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet, rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste? Let's do the gasoline. I want to burn my throat off. Shitty mezcal? All of the smoke, none of the dip. Taste buds are overrated. How are we feeling now? Like... Like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom. But then I realize I'm still falling. You are such a disaster. Oh god, I certainly have a type. You need more than a drink. Let's hang. Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Remember how we said we were gonna hang anyway? I am collecting on that debt now. What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and Force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend. I guess? Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the rat hole. Best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. The place is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back. And Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch.
Sorry, did you say someone called Granite Joe is out back smoking up? I take you to meet Granite Joe. Dude's a sweetheart. Very generous with his blunts. And do you partake? I am an adult taxpayer, so yes. And then I hand the blunt to you. Well, I don't want to be rude. I take a puff and pass it back to Granite Joe. You try to, but Granite Joe has wandered off. You now have one blunt. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. <laughs> Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary, kill. And a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Let's hang back and watch the crowd. Good word. I got us two Roman Cokes. Now hold on just one minute. Is this Pepsi? Damn it. Again? Eddie, we talked about this. <laughs> hey, the singer. Is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. I run over to the spot where she would land. <laughs> Max, you weighed 90 pounds soaking wet. No time to think. Okay, she crashes into you. You both go down. Uh, I'm so hardcore. But the singer jumps right back up. You're dazed, but I pull you to your feet. <sighs> Was I chewing gum before? <laughs> Badass. That was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or like, talked about. Told you it'd be worth it. And you're walking away with, let's see, one half-smoked blunt, a solo cup that once contained a rum and coke, and the piece of gum that was inside the front woman's actual mouth. <laughs> If that was just a dry run, imagine what the real Revenge Horse show is going to be like. It's been a buck wild day, but that made me feel like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow my existence won't be things worse for everyone around me. You keep saying that about your day. What happened? Why are you so nice to me? Shit. <laughs> I'm doing it again. My therapist says I latch on to people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? Bitchy women are a huge turn on, so. Excuse me, ma'am. What are these mixed signals? Are you flirting with me? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm very stressed and just really hot and care about me and 
have really nice hands. <laughs> that is the gayest shit I've ever heard in my life. Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. Yeah, it's a, I'm... You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a Category 5 hurricane. Um, sorry, did I do something wrong? No, no. I really, really want to kiss you. Um, it's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me and need to know I'm not just projecting. So, you, Kiss me first. I'm a sucker for a good dare. But I'm also very polite. So you go first. Are you trying to break me? Max Caulfield, you are the worst. Fuck. you get off? About an hour. Uh, but before we do anything else, maybe we should sleep on it? In my bed? <laughs> as much as I'd like that, um, I'd like to be able to tell my therapist I made good choices this week. You are a very smart woman. <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Uh, for now, I, I have to get back to it. Um. Can't be a bard. Why not? Because we already. Come here often? <laughs> Probably too often. Join me? Help yourself. <laughs> Rough day. Everybody hates me. I'm annoying. I'm bothering to everyone. Colleagues, Moses, Toffee. Toffee used to get pissed at me too. Are you crazy? Toffee was obsessed with you. She would talk about you all the time. 
I was always jealous. I mean, um... Don't hurt yourself. I know about you and Safi. Oh. Well... I should have told you. Honestly, yeah, I would like to know. If only so I know how to act around you. See, well, then I'm definitely glad nobody told you. I don't want pity. I wasn't her boyfriend or anything, and it ended a while ago, but I guess I had this idea that we'd make up. Eventually. <laughs> uh, any other deep, dark secrets you've disinterred from my past? I know what happened to Maya. <laughs> Christ, Max! I was joking! And I know what you did after she died. <clears throat> I was young. I was an asshole, and I didn't want to end up working at my parents' liquor store until I shriveled up and died. Does the past version of you ever feel like, I don't know, an alien? Like, the shit that person cared about is so worthless, you can't even remember being them? That sounds like a shitty spot to be in. Especially right out of undergrad. Right? Here I was with the chance to be uh, salaried, health insured, even fucking 401k'd. And all I had to do was talk shit. Which I'm good at. Sorry to bring down the vibes. <laughs> I need to be more drunk. See, you made yourself right at home. I blame Vin. Oh, you hitting that? We're just friends. All right, all right. She's cute, but... Uh, a little too principled for me, even discounting her utter lack of interest in my gender. Hey, principles can be hot. Uh-huh. I'm serious. I will write you an essay. Passion is very sexy. No, no, you're right. Passion is sexy. Like your buddy. The big guy with the telescopes. Moses? Once, I asked him how his day was going. And he explained to me the double slit experiment. It was weirdly hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? You're saying you wouldn't? He's my friend. And this would be extremely friendly. Moses, smash or pass? Okay, fine. I admit it. My friend, Moses, is an extremely handsome man. I'll drink to that. <sighs> I'll say this for Caledon. It's got a high ratio of fuckable faculty. <laughs> Dr. Hunter, for instance. Interested? She has a wife! So do a lot of people. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Colmanero. No. He sucks. Does he now? 
You suck. <laughs> hey, I'm just, I'm just trying to think of people we both know. Lucas, smash or pass? Pass. He's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, I've put up with worse for less. <laughs> uh, hold up. This is smash or pass, not have a healthy, long-term relationship in two and a half kids or pass. I'm not asking if you want to marry them, just... Just... Ah! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, my turn. Yasmin. Now that's just unfair. Why? <laughs> because then I'd have to admit just how hot I find authority figures. <laughs> I would not have pegged you for the type. Oh, yeah. What would you peg me for? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't just let it lie there. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. My turn again. And see, who do we both know? Uh -huh. No. My students are off limits. Well, as I am one at Caledon and two not one of your students, which appear to be your two standards. Come on. So? About me, Miss Caulfield. Where do I fall on the binary? Don't take this the wrong way, but. No worries. No hard feelings. That's the Smasher Pass rule. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's been fun. I needed this, so. <laughs> Thank you. Night, Max. Good night, then. I better cross back over in case Safi is cooled off and is trying to reach me. Nothing from Safi. I don't know what I was hoping for. Maybe I should just head home for the night. What the hell? Now return to your regularly scheduled fuckery. Oh, God. This is bad. Whoever was here really messed this place up. What were they looking for?
You're scared. Hey, you're okay? What happened? Did you see who came in? Hey now, I bet your claws were sharper than theirs. Come on, jump. I'll catch you. You stay up there then. Gather your thoughts. I don't need an article. I see the wreckage every time I close my eyes. Oh shit! They're still here! I can't let them go through my investigation stuff. Okay, you just freeze, okay? I don't know what the fuck is happening, but until I do, you're staying put right where you are. Yeah, that really doesn't work for me. Wait! Ways to the other world on this side of the log. I need to find a way to track her from this timeline. Shit, how do I know which way? I 
almost got her. What? Now what? Where did you even come from? You're from the future? Is this what's been going on with you? <laughs> that you've completely lost the plot? I don't understand. Why were you in my house? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? All that stuff in your dark room about Lucas, about Vin, about Gwen? Shit you have no reason to know about or care about. That's not true. I'm trying to help Sophie. Of course you were. God, I'm so sick of people trying to help. Stop. Please, we can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please, trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. No! Oh! Super Max. Come on. Let's get you warm. I always said you were too soft for academia. 